Alrighty. Sup folks, Dragon Sorcerer here with a brand new video for my YouTube viewers out there. I'm actually going to be talking about an event that I went to back uh, at the beginning of May. Um, I went to my first ever Chikara pro wrestling show, um, which was called Battle Not With Monsters. Um, it was May the 3rd of this year, and it took place at the new Mid-Atlantic Sportorium in Gibsonville, North Carolina. And um, it was so much fun. I really enjoyed each match. Um, there are a lot of great matches on this card, and I just wanted to kind of go through each of them and just give my thoughts on them. And um, by all means, leave your feedback, comments for those that went and got to see. Um, and let me know what you think. Uh, first, first match was actually a eight-man tag, which pitted a fire ant and assailant of the colony, and um, Ice Cream Junior and El Hijo, El Hijo del Ice Cream, the ice cream tag team, against uh, Opifidon, Oberion, and Kodama and Cobalt. And overall, I thought this was a very good match. Um, it was very action-packed and really got the crowd involved, like literally involved in the match. So I was really impressed with it. Um, I've really become a fan of the Colony, so I really liked uh, what Fire Ant and Assailant in this match. So it was a good long match you know that was the first match that took place and it was actually a fairly long match so I was very impressed with it um, so if I had to give it like you know on a scale of one to five stars uh, I'd give it I'd give it a four I'd give it a four why not um, let's see second match was Saturine versus Missile Assault Ant of um, the Colony Extreme. Honestly, I was hoping to see a better match out of this. This was a very short match, but it was kind of a it was kind of a, a match that you could really laugh at. But overall, it was it wasn't really that good. Mainly because it wasn't long. It was not a long match at all. It was very short. But I mean, it was good to see Saturine but very short match uh, two out of five if you ask me two stars uh, next was a tag team match between the members of 3.0 uh, Scott Parker and Shane Matthews against Deviant Arctic Rescue Ant and Orbit Adventure Ant of the Colony Extreme and out of nowhere Big surprise, Gran Akuma showed up and actually teamed up with 3.0 to even the score. So that was a very great surprise. I had actually been a fan of Gran Akuma since uh, his time uh, at Dragon Gate, where he used to be part of uh, Kamikaze USA uh, with uh, John Moxley and um, um, Yamato. So, I was really, really happy to get to see him live. Um, it was a good match. Uh, I thought it could have been longer. But overall, it was, it was a good match. There was a lot of action. And um, it was a really good match. I was just really glad to be able to see Gran Akuma in action. Um, i give this a 3. 3 out of 5. Uh, next... I'll tell you right now, the next match that took place was my favorite match of the evening. Um, it was one-on-one, uh, -on -one, Amasis versus The Shard, which I thought this was the best match of the evening. Like, it was so awesome. Like, there's no telling who was going to win. It was back and forth, a lot of high-flying action. That, I thought, was the best match of the night. Um, both did an excellent job five star five star match next um, was another one on one match um, Archibald Peck takes on Jigsaw 
Now, I'm actually a big fan of Jigsaw, because he's another one, like Gran Akuma, that I started following back during his time at Dragon Gate. And um, I really was happy to be able to see him wrestle. Uh, this was a great match as well. Um, I was really pleased with, um, even though Archibald Peck, you know, is kind of silly to me, uh, actually a great wrestler. You know, both did a really great job, and I was, I was happy with how it went. Um, I give this a four. Four out of five. Alright, next was the Young Lions Cup match, which, uh, was Shiva Kid was the challenger taking on the champion, Mr. Touchdown, Mark Angelo Setti. Now this one, this was a good match, but it was one of those that I thought could have been longer, and I thought really could have had potential to be a, a five-star match, but mainly because of the length of it is really why I, you know, I wouldn't give it five stars. But, um... Overall, it was it was a good match, but I felt like there was potential for it to be much so much better. So I'm gonna give that one a three and a half, three and a half. Next, we had a six man tag, which uh, involved the Spectral Envoy of Ultramantis Black, Hollow Wicked, and Frightmare against uh, Fist. Made up of Icarus, Johnny Gargano, and the Kentucky gentleman, Chuck Taylor. Now, I was really excited for this match because I actually, I've actually gotten to see Johnny Gar got to see Johnny Gargano and Chuck Taylor wrestle before back in um, Dragon Gate um, at the um, Open the Southern Gate uh, event that took place in on April Fool's Day of 2011. So anyway, I was very excited for this. Um, great, great match. Um, I was really impressed with uh, the Spectral Envoy. And I've really, after that match, I've become instant fans of them. Because I'd only seen videos of them before, so I was really happy to see uh, their in-ring work live. So um, overall, I thought this was a great match. Um, very long, very action-packed, um, and with a little bit of drama in it as well. So, four and a half stars. And then the final match, the main event, was the Grand Championship match, which the challenger was Green Ant of the Colony, taking on the champ, uh, Eddie Kingston. This was a great match, overall. Um, it was it was a really good long one, and I really felt like you know Eddie Kingston and Green Ant worked really well in this match, and it was it definitely had the fans on their feet. So I was I was really pleased and happy uh, with this with this match, but I won't say that it was the best match out of that show. So um, this one I'm gonna give four stars. So overall, my favorite was the match between uh, Amasis and the Shard. And that was it. Um, afterwards, they had, they had meet and greet uh, with the wrestlers. You know, I got my picture taken with the Colony, Saturine, uh, the Spectral Envoy, Gran Akuma, Amasis. You know, it was really awesome um, to be able to get to meet all those wrestlers. They were so friendly, you know, so great to really embrace the fans and talk with the fans. And you know, I like I like it like that. That's the way it should be. Anyway, um comments, feedback, uh for those whoever that went to the show, uh let me know how you felt about my review. Alrighty. Um hope everyone has a blessed day. This is Dragon Sorcerer signing off. Check out what y'all later.